welcome. Our guest today is a British member of the European Parliament from the Labour Party. Elected two years ago, she has filed an astounding 94 motions on resolution on such topics as the children's rights, the situation in Israel and Palestine, and of course, gender equality. Please welcome Ms. Julie Ward. Thank you. Now, here's the eye. You've spoken extensively on such topics as mental, mental health, cultural diversity, intercultural dialogue. Um, how important is it to you that those messages get across to today's European youth? Um, well, European youth are the future. And um, I think that it's very important that the work we do here um, uh, impacts on improving young people's lives and also reflects their concerns. Uh, before, I, before I was a politician, um, I worked as an activist and I, also, and I worked in the arts and I worked with young people. Um, so I'm very aware of the issues that, that um, concern young people and I'm also very aware of the kind of, uh, if you like, the disconnect between, um, between pol politics and politicians and citizens. Now my question to you is, what would you say to someone who's passing you by who is in favour of um, letting Britain exit from the EU? You know, we live in difficult times and many of the challenges that we're facing are global challenges and no one state, no one country, no one government really has all the answers. Um, and also in domestic politics we have, you know, we'll have different governments come and go um, and we'll have, you know, like a ruling party and there'll be for four or five years one flavour, then there'll be a different flavour for another four or five years. Um, but the European institutions and the European Parliament particularly, because it works in consensus politics, is a way of listening to all those views and taking account of all those views and coming to a common agreement about the things that we can tackle together. Could you tell us a bit more about your project One Billion Rising? It's a global movement to um, stop violence against women and girls and I was very motivated by this issue um, to stand up as a woman and to stand up against violence and to try and look at the root causes of it and then to try and um, empower women really to, um, to, to take control of their lives. And it's very important that women are visible in public life. When we're not visible then um, we're objectified and objectification um, allows violence to prevail and I quite clearly see those links but it's something that everybody can get involved with and it's also um, important in terms of why I came into politics. Now as I said you have filed 94 motions in your almost two years as being a European MP. Uh, now one of your motions was about the situation of the Crimean Tatars mm -hmm. uh, and if you know last Saturday a song won the Eurovision Song Contest mm -hmm. and a project uniting European people um, with a song about those very Crimean Tatars. Mm -hmm. So my question to you is if this extra coverage to the topic will help your resolution? Um, well, in, here in the European Parliament, we deal with humanitarian um, urgencies every time we come to Strasbourg, every time we have a plenary. Um, it's a very important agenda item for us. And it's been quite clear that there are persecuted minorities all around the world. And this is one issue, you know, the annexation of um, a part of the Ukraine in a very aggressive, undemocratic way against the will of those people um, is, um, is something that we have to address. Now, I brought up the Eurovision Song Contest for a specific reason, of course, because in the final segment of this interview, we are going to hold the very first and hopefully only edition of the Euro Lip Syncing Song okay. Contest. And for that, I would like to invite my colleague Neve to please join us right now. Hello, how are things? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, this is interesting. So, we will sing the song, the common song for this I event. Mm, I think you've got a heads up on me. <laughs> Just oh, a tiny bit. All together now, let's start. <laughs> Here the proof It's nation state 
How did I do? <laughs> that was amazing. So thank you very much, Nee, for your participation. Thank I you think so we can much. all agree thank you. that. Thank you. Welcome, nee. I think thank we can you. agree that Miss Judy Ward is the deserved winner. Oh well, I don't know about that. <laughs> now. I think I was you. pretty maybe, good. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the swimming. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think Judy was the was the. Thank winner. you very much, Nee. Uh, thank you for devoting time for this interview, and I wish you all the best uh, with your further motion speeches and time as a European MP. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for showing an interest. Thank you. Thank you.